לעינא בקשו טוב לא אוכלת this give some charity some tzedaka as the Baal Shem Tov says with every time you throw in a coin in the pushkit and it gives that little sound you create another angel so we need a lot of those angels to pull us out of where we are and get us all the way to the Geula to Moshiach although it says God will do it himself but nevertheless, it's good to have a few angels on your side. Yesterday we spoke about census. Why the Israel, Levi, and Aaron were counted differently or not counted at all. But why counting? What is the purpose of counting the Jewish people in the desert a number of times? We're not up for elections. Moshe Rabbeinu was not up for elections, that he needed to know who votes this way, who votes that way, and how to be able to manipulate these matters. Excuse me, the pun. But uh, what's the idea? In fact, the book Bamidbo, the fourth book that we just started reading this week, as of Shabbat Bamincha, called Bamidbo means in the desert, yet... In English, we translated numbers. And in fact, it's a proper translation. The Shalah Kaddish, one of the greatest Kabbalists, uh, he says that the book is called Sefer HaPikudim, the book of counting, because the Jews were counted. Now, is it such an important matter? So they were counted. And therefore, the whole book, a whole section in Torah is called Numbers Counting. But here is a very interesting halacha. But please listen carefully, not to make a mistake here. Assuming you're cooking a pot of chicken soup. Good old Jewish penicillin. Chicken soup. At the same time, uh, in the good old days, before milk was pasteurized, we used to cook the milk. For those who maybe remember that. So they put up some milk to cook. And if you don't know, milk, if you let it cook, it boils over and it could go very high. So by mistake, a drop of milk boiled over and fell in into the pot of chicken soup. You panic. Oy vey, braver. Then you call the rabbi. And the rabbi will ask you, tell me how big was your pot and how little was the milk? Why? Because the halacha says, if there is 60 times more of the chicken soup than the drop of milk that fell in, then it's called bottle beshishim. It's nullified. Has no consistency, has no presence, has no taste, has no color. It's as if gone. Completely, completely lost its entire identity, its consistency, its presence. Now, obviously, if it's a tiny little piece of cheese that fell in and the cheese is floating, then you can't. Then it's not bottle of shishim. Now, let me just clarify. Please, don't start pouring into your chicken soup a little drop. It's only if it happened by accident. Now, assuming you have another issue, you bought a few dozen eggs, and then you realize that by mistake, you had a non-kosher egg, in other words, meaning an egg coming from a non-kosher bird that got mixed in into these eggs. And you don't know which one is what. Call the rabbi. The rabbi says, sorry, you got to put all those eggs away. You got to give it away to somebody not Jewish, who is not obligated to keep kosher. Can't give it to somebody who is Jewish who, is, who isn't kosher. Although he doesn't, he or she doesn't eat kosher, you can't give it away to them because you cannot cause somebody else to do something Inappropriate, But a non-Jew is not obligated to eat kosher. You can give him these eggs. Now the question is, why not? Why can't we say, Let's say there is 500 eggs, a thousand eggs more kosher than one non-kosher. So the answer is because it's counted. And the term in Allah is something that you sell by counting, not by weight or volume, but by counting in a bottle. 
can be nullified. Why? Because you count every individual. That means every individual has its value, its consistency, its identity, and it's not lost. I don't know which one it is, but not because of my not lack of knowledge makes it that it's not there. Says the Shalah Kaddish. What we say because God loves us, that's why he calls us, it's mo he counts us, excuse me. It's not just because he loves us. He's making a point that we should know that the Jewish people are not a volume. They're individuals. And each individual counts and therefore they can never be nullified. Even when the mixed on are surrounded by the 70 wolves, as the Gemara calls us, surrounded by all the nations that not necessarily mean our best. Let's only have a look at the UN. Nevertheless, we have to know that we are a no bottle. We can never be nullified. We always stand out and we always exist. And we will always exist. To the point that our existence is so powerful that we will bring redemption with Mashiach to the end time.